Throughout the entirety of Thomas and Friends, there have been more characters introduced than I could count. Of course, this means some characters are going to be hated. Think of characters such as Charlie or the Walking Locos. Then there are many weak characters like Neville, Jeremy. Now, a majority of these characters come from seasons 9 through 16. But there are even some characters from the Brenner era that are generally not liked. Think Philip and Carly. But there is one character. One character that I cannot stand whenever he's on screen. And that character is Samson. In order to get the base of who Samson is, I'll be reading off what the wiki has to say about him. Samson is a dignified tank engine with a lot of pride for the work he does. He almost never asks for help or advice to avoid seeming inexperienced around the island. He's also quite arrogant and boastful, believing himself to be the island's strongest tank engine and knowing what he is doing, whatever is right or wrong. While a hard-working engine, he tends to be impatient, impulsive, and over-enthusiastic, which often leads to trouble. Now, did you notice something about that? That's right, there are no redeemable qualities. And this really shows in the episodes he's featured in. And just to prove it, I'll be going through every episode Samson has mained in. Samson at your service. Leading directly after the events of Marion and the Dinosaurs, Samson first appears right after making his first mistake. Basically, Samson took a wrong turn and went to the Blue Mountain Quarry instead of Ulfstead Castle, all because he was too proud to ask for help. Here, we see his first terrible trait. He wasn't too shy to ask or anything like that. No, he was too proud. Everyone rightfully makes fun of him. Well, don't get lost on the way. Also, Samson just like cuts the line to the coal hopper because of his important job or something. Trying to prove he doesn't make mistakes, he makes a mistake. Samson idiotically takes the express coaches instead of the trucks to the quarry and gets offended when Stanley warns him. Later on the main line, he finds James. Samson, where are you going? And where's Gordon? But he just pushes James off. Bill and Ben come along and directly make a joke about the express. What's this? The new express! <laughs> but of course, Samson doesn't understand it. Cause he's stupid! At the quarry, the narrow gauge engines laugh at him as they should. Samson comes back to Napford without stopping. Yup, yup. Yo, bro, bring back the express coach! The top of hat finds him and tells him that We all make mistakes, but we make more mistakes when we act like we know it all. And Samson says he won't make another mistake. Until the next episode! Samson sent for Scrap. Scruff breaks down at Reg's scrapyard, and Samson is sent to take him to the steamworks. After Victor compliments his shunting, That was some very nice shunting. Samson says there's no job he can't do. Until Scruff is repaired, Samson has to collect trackside scrap with Harvey. At first, they do an average job until... Nothing was safe! Samson insists that the postman's bicycle is rubbish. Right after seeing the postman get off the bike? What? What? Okay, and then get this. They straight up steal a bus stop sign to scrap it. Birdie and the postman start to chase after Samson. Meanwhile, Topham's car breaks down, and he and his little buddy have to get a new tire. Right after he leaves, Samson sees the car and assumes it's scrap. Harvey points out that it looks a little bit, um, almost, uh, exactly the same as the fat controller's car. But Samson is too stubborn to take any notice and makes Harvey load it into the truck. D dang peer pressure! When Topham returns, the car is gone. Luckily, Scruff is repaired and volunteers to beat Samson to the yard through a shortcut. Scruff makes it right before Reg is able to crush the stolen items. Why? That's the fat controller's car! And it kind of just ends there. Samson is yelled at a bit, but he definitely did not learn his lesson this time. Millie and the Volcano. While preparing the Earl of Sodor's new dinosaur park, Millie gets scared by a model dinosaur head heading straight for her, which is completely understandable. Oh, oh. Samson laughs at Millie, and Harvey makes the point that They're only models! Later, Millie spots Harvey and Samson talking about how scary and dangerous volcanoes are. But Samson says Harvey, 
you're scared. I'm not scared of anything. And that's not even a real volcano. While collecting old branches for a bonfire, Millie suggests to the workmen to set it up behind the volcano. When they see the smoke, Harvey is confused by Samson's fright, considering he just said it was a model and that he was afraid of nothing. Millie comes up giggling behind them and says it's only a model. See me big engines. Oh my dude, you just got pranked. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? Everyone ends up getting scolded, but it ends on a good note with the park opening and Samson nowhere to be seen. Saving time. Hello, Thomas. Diesel. Stanley. Hello, Samson. Hello. <laughs> Thomas and Samson are sent on an important job to take stone from the Blue Mountain Quarry to the docks. Thomas takes a reasonable amount of trucks, but Samson claims he can take more to be more efficient. This would make some sense if he, oh, I don't know, didn't take an entire quarry worth of trucks. Samson obviously struggles along the main line. I can go. And then, he can't make it over Gordon's Hill. Thomas arrives after delivering his first load and reluctantly agrees to push him up the hill. As they back up, Paxton approaches and offers to help too. Together, they get Samson's train up the hill. Once they get to the other side though, Samson refuses to uncouple Thomas from the train. Please, I need to be uncoupled now. There's no time to stop, Thomas. Already late. So Samson pulled Thomas all the way to Brendam Docks. Whether he liked it or not. Samson actually apologizes to Thomas after this. And oh my gosh. Wait, is Samson getting character development? Maybe I was wrong about... And this time he was pulling only one truck. Oh. Never mind. Samson and the fireworks. The episode starts off with Samson telling Thomas about his fear of fireworks. Oh, stop it, Thomas, stop it! Samson? What's the matter? Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Why should anything be the matter? Not afraid of fireworks? No, not at all. Just a few loud bangs. Nothing to worry about. It's kind of out of nowhere, but okay, sure. For a while after that, we don't see Samson. A deep fog rolls in, making all the engines nearly crash into each other. Phew. Look out! Okay, never mind, they do crash into each other. Cyril the Fogman is called in to place bomb detonators on the tracks. So when you hear a bang, slow down and look out! When we see Samson again, he mistakes one of these detonators for a firework and he panics. He causes a lot of chaos from his panicking. And he ends up in a siding. After probably a few hours of waiting... Uh, sorry. He's able to use the fireworks to find his way to Ulfstead Castle. I will say, this episode is probably Samson's best, as he's not super arrogant the whole time. Although he's, you know, he's still an idiot. None of these episodes are really that good. But there is one good thing about each of them. That is, the other characters. Throughout all these episodes, the other characters are actually enjoyable to watch. It only sucks that they're always being overpowered by this awful character. Like, come on, I would've loved to see an episode about Gordon having to pull Annie and Clarabelle for the day. A character isn't good when the episodes he mains in are only decent at least whenever he's not on screen. Another thing about Samson in these episodes is that he never learns. Whenever he makes a mistake, he says he won't do it again, but then immediately makes another mistake. Samson clearly doesn't have the ability to develop as a character. He'll never change. So a little while ago, I was asking you guys on Twitter what your thoughts on Samson were, and a majority of you seemed to share the same thoughts as me. Samson is nothing but an idiotic engine that never develops. None of his episodes are even that enjoyable because he's so unbearable. People have said Philip is the devil of the Brenner era, but those people are simply forgetting Samson's existence because he's the true devil of the era. Samson is the worst character of the Brenner era, and nothing, no one, will ever change my mind on that. Shut the f*** up! Know your f***ing place, trash!